What's going on guys? Hope y'all are having a great day out there today. So I'm finally back from work. Got back from the Super Bowl here yesterday. And um, while I was gone, one of my local hobby shop called me up, told me one of my cars came in. I went down there today and picked that up, but I also picked up another toy while I was down there. They had something on the shelf that I just decided and I finally bit the bullet. That'll be in the next unboxing video, but today's video is on this one. All right, guys. Well, we have picked up the Losi Mini B. I can't wait to give this thing a test out. I have had an absolute blast with my Mini T, and um, I figured this thing has got to be a fun time, too. This is brushed, but I also just ordered yesterday the brushless version for this, the Dynamite 6000 KV motor for it that'll be in um, probably tomorrow or the next day. And... Um, Gonna make this thing brushless. The mini, uh, the mini T is an absolute blast brush. It's a little bit overpowered, honestly, but um, I think it'll be perfect for this car. But let's get this thing out of the box and check it out. Man, guys, this car just looks awesome. I love the look of this buggy. I mean, it is just mean looking. And when I get the brushless system in this thing, it is just gonna be an absolute blast. I think. Give you a little 360 view of this thing. Can't wait to take this thing up to the track. Uh, the local track up there actually has a little mini B class um, for the for these things. So get me excited to take this thing up there for its first little rip. All right, guys. So it just takes one body clip here in the back. It's only one clip that holds the body on these things, um, and then pops right off. Um, it's got a little 2S 20C. 650 milliamp hour lipo battery in these um, it has a 280 brushed motor uh, but like i said i am going to be converting this thing over to the brushless setup um, the brushless uh, dynamite setups on these things have the esc um, motor combo all in one so you eliminate the esc right now this is the brushed motor and then these have the uh, esc and receiver combos in them so i'm going to be taking that out and uh, going full brushless in this thing but um <laughs> it's just a great looking little car this thing is going to be a blast i've had so much fun with the mini t um so <laughs> had to give this thing a try out i know it's a smaller car but have a little fun at the track here with this thing locally so this thing's gonna be a good time kind of have a little fun with this thing maybe take it down to the smaller skate park also also guys i don't know if any of you guys saw the post on um i put up on there but i found a new skate park and it looks absolutely epic, guys. It's one of the gigantic bowl-style um, skate parks that we're going to be taking a bunch of these cars down to and having a lot of fun. And the new car I picked up, I think you guys are going to really enjoy at the skate parks, especially it's going to be a good time. Lots more fun to come, especially this summer when the snow finally stops and gets, goes away. That's all I keep getting right now is snow, 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 snow. It's driving me crazy. But anyway, we can get a little, few more little technical details on this thing. So it does have um, all four-wheel independent, um, oil-filled shocks, front and rear, um, full, full, fully adjustable uh, camber link and toe-in um, on the front and rear. Um, the shocks on this thing in the stock form feel so nice. I mean, it's just amazing on the stock suspension on this, how nice and plush and soft they feel um, on the back and the front. And also on these, they make many upgrades for these little cars already. I've been out there checking some stuff out. And um, they make carbon fiber and aluminum uh, front uh, shock towers for these things, for the front and the back, out of carbon fiber, aluminum, whatever you want. They have aluminum um, A-arms, which I tend to avoid the aluminum A-arm stuff because it adds weight and um, it's not as much flexibility. You know, you start crashing them and they bend and it just... I don't know. I've never been a big fan of the aluminum A-arms on cars. That's just my personal preference. But um, make lots of different... Um, I know M2C makes a ball bearing style slipper clutch for these things, which I might give one of those a try. I haven't tried one of them in this, obviously, yet, or the Mini T. But I might give one of those a try. It's nice about these two platforms, the Mini T and the Mini B, is so many things are interchangeable between batteries, motors, um, clutches, tires, everything. It's just a little bit longer wheelbase, basically. I'll pull the Mini T out here and show you side by side. Also, with the Mini B, you get your normal instruction manual, um, the charger for it right there, and they do give you four AA batteries for the transmitter, along with a little uh, tire wrench and all that kind of good stuff. But now we got the Mini Mini T, Mini T, Mini B. 
<laughs> I'm sure I'll be calling these the wrong names all the time like I do everything else. Unfortunately, my poor mini T uh, body did not last that long. Um, <laughs> shattered the back end of it pretty good there. But anyway, so got them side by side here. Obviously, as you can see, a bit of a uh, length difference. There's probably a good... Uh, you can grab a measuring tape here and find out what exactly the difference is in length. So, the Mini B is about an inch and a quarter, about an inch and a half longer, I'd say, right about there. Um, so, it's about an inch and a half longer wheelbase. So, obviously, you're going to get that little bit more stability. Uh, Width-wise, I think they're pretty much the same width. Um, try to put them back to back here. Sorry, guys. Width-wise, yeah, they are they're the same width. The Mini B has a little different tires on it. This has more of a smaller tire, you know, track type uh, tire on these things. The Mini T came with tiny little knobby tires, which have been wearing down pretty, pretty good already on this thing. But they are pretty much the same width. Um, obviously, they're still getting different tires they have on them. But if you kind of go side by side, they are still the same width tires on them both. It's just the Mini B's got a little bit longer, longer chassis to it, and that's pretty much it. I like the wing um, on the Mini B a little better the way it, it's separate from the body. So when you're busting it, you're not having to change out your whole entire body also. But as I was saying about, because I, I have this same um, motor setup coming for the Mini B. This is on the Mini T here. Um, this is the 6000 kV brushless motor. And as you can see, it has an extra set of wires going in there. Sorry, my big hand's in the way. But um, this is your ESC and motor combo. And honestly, it works really nicely. And I think the motor was like 61 or 62 bucks um, for the whole thing. Uh, so I have that coming here for the Mini B. Um, we're going to make this thing brushless, and this thing should be a blast. I haven't even got to run it yet brushless. We're going to run this thing and give it a test out. Um, today, unfortunately, I can't, and I'll show you why. Well, it's finally stopped snowing, but as you can see, it's just been snow, snow, and more snow. <laughs> it hasn't stopped. I got back from Florida yesterday, guys. Um, I was down there for about almost two weeks, and I got used to the nice 72, 74 degree weather down there, and I uh, came back here to, I think it was 10 degrees at the airport, <laughs> and um Kind of wishing I could go back to that weather, but nice to be home for sure. But um, yeah, I'm not going to try and take these things out there in the snow at the moment because everything, all the roads are just covered with slush and snow, and I'm not going to destroy them right off the bat. Um, I know that's kind of weird, me not destroying this stuff, right? But <laughs> we're going to wait till the snow melts here in the next day or two and uh, take these things out for a run because I am going to run this thing brushed first and then throw the brushless setup and um, you know give it a test out. I might actually do... Um, the conversion on this thing on a live stream. Um, never done one, so it might be kind of fun. And uh, guys, we got some great stuff coming to the live streams now. We now have multiple camera angles, um, some cool stuff. So the live streams are going to be getting better and better, so definitely stay tuned for those. should be a good time. One little note that anybody that is going to be changing over, um, you know, making these mini bees brushless, um, the other thing you do have to order with them is a receiver because... The receiver is part of the combo. Now, I don't believe there's any way to integrate this into the new one. Um, I'm going to have to check and find out about that, honestly. But from what I've understood, you have to get another receiver for it because, you know, the brushed motor has um, the ESC built into it and uh, it does not obviously have a receiver. So, and where the brushed version has the ESC and receiver as a combo with a brushed motor. So it's all kind of, you know, vice versa. So... If you are doing this conversion, you are going to need a receiver, as far as I understand it, to uh, basically make it work when you make this brush list. All right, guys. Well, that is going to conclude the Mini B unboxing video. I hope you all enjoyed it, a little side-by-side -side with the Mini T and some of the comparisons. And uh, we're going to make this thing faster and a lot more fun. And uh, there's going to be some great stuff coming to the channel here, especially when the snow finally melts and we can get out there again. But uh, we are going to make it out this week and go down to the skate park here, hopefully down to that new location, have a little fun down. We're going to take a few cars and get our bash on but uh, i hope you all enjoyed the video and uh, if you guys do enjoy the content and uh, what we're doing here please don't forget to like and subscribe guys but until next time y'all be safe be careful out there peace out everybody